welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It has been a long time, been about four months. So I know that I haven't posted since New Year's of January and there are reasons for that. And as you can see, I have changed quite a lot. Um, my hair is now back to normal. I have nails now. Don't say what I think you're going to say in the comments. But I have gone through um, an update, if you would say. And there's also been things going on behind the scenes of why I haven't been posting since January. I was like, okay, new year, new me. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do my commentary videos, like the one that you're watching now. I'm going to do my short films. I'm going to do my covers. Everything's going to be hunky-dory and everything's going to be great. However towards late january all the way up until now still ongoing now i've been going through a lot of stuff and i can make a whole separate video on that if you guys want it i kind of went through a brief summary about what's been going on on my instagram so if you don't follow me please follow me on instagram if you want to understand all that so if you want that i can give it to you though it's going to be very bland because i really don't want to talk about what happened because it's very sensitive to me and everyone knows what February is for me anyway so that's just a whole chunk that you already know so I have an explanation technically of why I've been gone even though I don't really want to share it but if you guys want it I can't stop you guys from wanting it I understand I would want the same thing if I was watching one of my favorite youtubers doing something like this so let me know if you guys want it but without further ado let's get into this video and come back with a banger now there have been theories out there specifically from drama alert and Cal and fellow commentator calvis that deji bought subscribers and the reason whole reason he faked having covid19 was to try to get some organic growth to cover up the fact that he has been buying subs However, it is now fact that he did buy subscribers, and here's how. A website called Freeway Social provided, that provides botted subs released a video exposing that Deji did buy subs to hit 10 million with proof. And it is, and this is all real and not fabricated. Now, normally he wouldn't expose his clients just like any other website that does this would because there would be no business if they kept doing it. However, Deji has been docking payments from them because he's losing so many subs that not even botted subs can save him now. So in the video, it shows that on the 22nd of March, Deji bought 10K subs and on the 23rd of March, he bought over 40k subs, which resulted in over $2,000 worth of botted subs. What's up guys? This is Thomas from FreewaySocial.com. Many were wondering how did Deji got those 50,000 YouTube subscribers and reached 10 million subscribers milestone? I can confirm that he bought those subscribers and I can confirm that because he bought them from FreewaySocial.com which is run by me. Okay guys, so as you can see, there were two orders placed by Comedy Shorts Gamer, as I have already filtered out the orders. On 22nd of March, there was an order placed on Freeway Social website for 10K YouTube subscribers. As you can see, client specified Comedy Shorts Gamer YouTube channel Deji placed another order on 23rd of March for 40k subscribers. Both orders combined, Deji should receive 50k YouTube subscribers. It is clear as day where it came from now. Now before anyone says, well anyone could buy subs for Deji, it doesn't mean it's him. Do you really think there's a big enough idiot to waste $2,000 on botted subs for Deji to hit 10 million? How airheaded do you have to be to believe that? There is no way. He also showed and explained the exact time Deji bought the subs and showing how it correlates with the order. No. As you can see, looking at weekly statistics, on March 15th, 
Deji's channel had only 9 million and 950,000 subscribers. And on 23rd of March, he already had 20k more subscribers. And that's because Freeway Social already started working on his YouTube subscriber orders as uh, they were placed on 22nd and 23rd of March. To be correct, Deji reached 10 mil subscribers on 29th of March, but because this graph shows only weekly statistics, we see it on 31st. And these were those 50k subscribers that were gathered by Freeway Social. To anyone that thinks, oh, this can't be Deji, it must be one of his fans, I wonder why he has fans anyway when sim smaller creators who are better than him get jack. Just take a look at the PayPal receipts he shows. Okay, now let's go back and view PayPal transactions. So this is the first one for 480 US dollars. As you can see, payment has been received from Olojide Olatunji for YouTube Enterprise Package, 5,000 subscribers. And the second one right here for 1,500 US dollars. As you can see, the payment for this order has been reversed on 2nd of May. And I will explain why it happened later on in this video. So in total, Freeway Social received 2,000 US dollars to get 50k subscribers to Deji's channel. Wasn't even smart enough to use a fake name. You can clearly see over $2,000 in fraction for a YouTube enterprise package for 5,000 subs and 40,000 subs. Deji fans, wake up and smell the coffee. You can't say Jack. The worst part about this is, is that it's all Deji's fault as well. He has now disperred the payment of $1,500 because he claims that he's losing subs and that this service isn't working. When if he had just one brain cell left, he could see that he is losing subs so fast that not even botted subs could save him anymore. And you know what the cherry is on top of this big ice cream sundae? This is against YouTubers! Terms of service. This is completely against the rules. His channel might get terminated after this. I never thought that after anything, everything, Deji couldn't get any stupider, but it looks like I was wrong. This is all Deji's undoing. This man in the video claims he's had a back and forth with Deji and has some email proof, which he feels like he doesn't even need to re release, and which I agree with. This is more than enough proof to show that Deji did bot subs. So I have provided order and payment information and I think that this is enough to prove my statement. If this is not enough and someone needs more proof, I have also email conversations with Deji, but I just don't think that it is necessary to include in this video. This man gives me a headache. Deji, what the hell were you thinking when you were doing this? First, we could talk about how you accepted it like you earned it. In your Corona video, you talk about how you can't do a special because you feel so sick <laughs> faking Corona. I just want to say thank you guys. I was planning to do something like really, really cool for this milestone that I've hit on this channel. But obviously, due to uh, some circumstances, I can't. I'm just going to play it safe because uh, I don't want to do anything that, that will be detrimental to my health or anybody else's. So yeah, I will keep- Great convincing acting, by the way. I believe that you were so embarrassed that you had to bot subscribers that you couldn't even bring yourself to make a 10 million subscriber video because you didn't want to cause any fuss. You just wanted to fly under the radar with that 10 subs when that's not what happened at all. You have been well-defined, called out. The amount of crap that you have pulled on this website, faking coronavirus, bought-in subscribers, this is it for you, Deji. You know that ev no one can ever trust you again or take you seriously. The amount of reputation you had left, the little tiny amount of reputation you had is just out the window now and you're just done. So in about two hours of this video and a bunch of other videos going down, he responded, and once I heard Deji say this, My IQ level's 189. I knew I was in for a treat. So Deji responded in, to the sub body in a video titled, I'm so tired of this. 
He responded in true Deji in the true Deji way, making an eight to nine minute video, just rambling and repeating the same crap over and over as he does, not even showing any evidence or to prove his innocence. Well, to be fair, at least he tried. Deji's only point in this video was that the IP address shown in the freeway social video was not his. It was at the top of the order and it actually went to a place called Harrogate. I'm gonna debunk this and then I'm just gonna go on my merry way. Gee, anyway, so this guy made this video. He, le he uh, leaked an IP address claiming it was my IP address. Okay, it's not my IP address, and I'll show you proof. So this is the IP address that was in his video. As you can see, this IP address goes to a place called Harrogate. Where the fuck is Harrogate? I've never heard of that place. My IP and begins with 81. It does not begin with 86. So I don't know whose IP address this is. Not Peterborough, which is where he lives because he advertises it in the description of all of his videos. After this, though, people went to check the IP address for themselves, and some people got Harrogate, and some people did get Peterborough, so it was about a 50-50. However, my fellow commentator Kavas knows somebody who has checked the IP address, and can clearly, and we can clearly see that it is in Peterborough. I got my friend, some ordinary gamer who is very well, you know, educated in the computer space. He knows a lot more than me about computers for sure. And with my time working with him on Club Penguin, it's pretty evident he knows quite a lot. So I got him to trace for IP and just get back to me seeing what it says. If it says Harrogate, fine. If not, then it's clearly Peterborough and Deji's lying. Well, surprise, surprise, the only location that was popping up and could be traced by him was Peterborough. He told me that it was not too different from what most others are doing, but on a base level, this IP only reports Peterborough. And if we look in Deji's own description, where does he live? Peterborough. Deji most likely saw that people on Twitter were saying Harrogate and took that and milked it and as much as he could and just ran with it. On top of all of that, the email that was used to buy the botted subs shown in their video was property22 at btinternet.com. Well, people did some digging and found that the recovery email for that specific account, which was probably only used to buy subs in the first place, was an email that was linked to Deji's mom, Yinka. There are some characters missing for that we don't know for security reasons, but we could clearly identify Yinka and at ComedyShortsGamer.com. By the way, this isn't hacking for some people out there. All you have to do is just hit forgotten password and type in the email and this comes up. Deji did say that it wasn't him and all we wanted to know is whose it was when actually it was your mother. So the last beam of hope these Deji fans have left is now that this person with over $2,000 to spare to make sure Deji hit that 10 million subs, also created another email linked to Deji on the off chance we would also check the other email. Oh my God, my head hurts. Keemstar tweeted out confirming that the email is Deji and KSI's mom's actual email. And now with Keem being the news channel that he is, he wouldn't confirm anything or say it is confirmed unless he actually spoke to somebody who confirmed it for him. Deji plays the victim card throughout the entire rest of the video with no other points proving that he's innocent, just saying that he wants to be left alone. People say I look for drama. It comes and finds me. I don't want it, man. I just want to just chill. Deji. We would leave your whiny butt alone if you stop pulling dumb crap like this. But I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree now, does it? He also claimed that we are doing this to try to make him and his brother fight again. They always somehow find a way to like link my brother into this. And it's just so fucking annoying. Using the KSI victim card almost at a home run, boys. Who could have guessed? Newsflash, Deji, the only reason KSI's name was brought up in the first place is because the PayPal receipt was KSI had KSI's name attached to it, which we also know is your dad's name, so it must have been your dad's PayPal account. Deji also claims he has an IQ higher than Einstein. 
My IQ level is 189. Yeah, I don't think forging numbers is gonna be in the best place for you right now, Deji. And the final argument that Deji fans had to play was that the website wasn't even made when Deji was buying subs. People wanted to believe this so much, it got almost 200 upvotes on Reddit. When if you go to their Instagram, you see they've been operational since 2017. You go to, if you go to their Facebook page, they were operational since 2017. And if you check the website, you can see that it was registered January 17th, 2017. <sighs> oh my God. My head hurts so much. Are we done? Is, do we, fi did we finally get all the information that was just a bunch of rambling nonsense? I honestly don't see how Deji can get his way out of this one. There is no possible way that he can. I also saw on Twitter that he's thinking about take that his him and his dad are thinking about taking legal action against Drama Alert, Keemstar, and Calvis for being abrupt and sending like a mob to his house. When I agree with Calvis's tweet, who in the hell at almost at almost five in the morning in Peterborough is going to go to your house and form an angry mom over bought in subs? Like there's no no way. I agree with Calvis. Please release that um, security footage. I honestly want to see it and just laugh at it, <laughs> really, because there's no way. So most likely his parents are just lying to cover his butt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is so good to be back. And while I'm not fully uh, out there and ready to get back into it, it doesn't make sense that you guys should be punished for something that's going on on my end when it's compl it's just complicated to explain. So don't worry, I'm back. I have this video, I have a cover coming out and I most likely will make that video for you guys. So expect those coming. So please don't forget to subscribe down below and you might as well give this video a big thumbs up while you're down there. My Instagram is Alyssa Jade underscore TV. My Twitter is at Ally underscore network. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is about time that Deji gets off of this platform because he honestly gives me the biggest headaches more than any other YouTuber that I have a headache with, which is scary considering that Jake Paul is on that list. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. I will see my showstoppers in the next one. That is a wrap. Bye. I wanna hold ya.